Hey everybody, welcome back to Dog Place Pokemon Uranium version. Last time ended here. Oh, I thought the town would already be here, turns out. Still got a little bit to go here. Um, head was a little bit beat up. Let's see what grandma got for us here. Ladies can be good Pokemon trainers as well. Well, the, la the last gym leader we fought was a lady. <laughs> Man, Ted looked. You gained some weight. I think let's use Bob here. I wonder what Bob's evolution will look like. I like that now he has like his super close eyes. And here I go, clicking on Pokemon again. Let's go for Metal Claw here. Alright, good turn. <laughs> Let me just take a sip from my water here. A little bit tired today. Alright, and tag up. And uh, she's sending in the chin monk. Just stay with Bob here. And let's go for another metal claw. So, if you guys are watching this, what kind of starter would you have chosen if you could choose? I mean, obviously the text was color-coded, so you can just influence your decision by choose also choosing the color you want to. But I was like, okay, let's just play along, like we don't know what color, just answer honestly, like straight from the heart. Um, this is a poison water thing. Want to Bob again? I think maybe this time I would have chosen the water starter. Because, like I mentioned, we already chose the, the grass type starter in Pokemon Blue, so I want to change things up. That makes me think back which starter did I ch originally choose in the Pokemon release in Gen 1. I chose the Water Starter, in Gen 2 I chose the Water Starter, in Gen 3 I chose... Hmm. I think also the Water Starter. <laughs> in Gen 4 I chose the Grass Type Starter. Gen 5, Water Starter. Gen 6. Hmm, Gen 6, I chose. Oh, the Fire Starter. And Gen 7. I think. I think the Grass Type Starter again. Yeah, I think it's like that. So, I kind of have an affinity for the water starters. Yeah, I especially like uh, the Gen 5 water starter. <laughs> And Gen 4 I just had to go with Third Week. Like the moment I saw Third Week I was like, this is going to be my Pokemon. <laughs> and Torterra is so cool. But when then when I at first I got Pearl and then later I got Platinum, there I chose the uh, Water Starter. Somehow Fire is not 
like always my choice. I think somehow everyone chooses a fire starter, so I don't want to choose them. Everyone wants to choose like Terrizard and Blaziken. And I don't want my Pokemon to always be like firefighting, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, so maybe not just water Pokemon. Oh, it's another train. A bit like a Nugget Bridge situation here. I should be playing with friends instead of being here all day. Why are you telling me though? Sound like your own mom. There's a burp. Yeah, I should really put Bob in first place here again. I don't know, I always have to switch him around. Okay, Bob, let's. There's a metal claw here. That makes me think what will Bob look like when we evolve him fully and what kind of moves will he learn. Hopefully something like uh, Giga Drain, Meteor Mash and things like that. Baru, um, just keep here. This boy is a steel rock type I think. We sussed out last time. Or something to that extent. Just use a leaf seed, the precaution. Does four damage to us. Let's see how much, how big the amount of grain is here. All right, seems okay. And vine whip. I wonder what Beru's evolution looks like. Because it really looks like a Pokemon <laughs> that evolves. I don't think it's a single stage Pokemon like Farfetch or something. And goodbye! Okay, yeah, another child beaten up. I guess I'll try out some new games. I'm the only youngster in Moki Town. Oh really? Cool, one rare candy. Oh, and we circle around here. Oh, I see. I think they're pretty good at not making you go the same way twice. But it stays kind of fresh. Even if you're backtracking like a Dark Souls thing. Hey, Professor. Bempo. <laughs> ah, Doc, you made it. Good, good. Why don't you follow me back to the lab? We have a lot to discuss. Do we? First of all, I want to congratulate you on getting your first gym badge. I think it's a great idea to take the Tundra Gym Challenge. Who knows how many salts you see and new kinds of Pokemon you will meet along the way. If you plan to get all 8 badges, the next gym is in Barrow Town to the east. Now that you have Rock Smash, you will be able to crush those boulders blocking the path. But that's not the only reason I brought you here. Tell me how's your Pokedex coming along? It's important for my research in Pokemon elements that you try and fill it as much as possible. Hmm. So you've seen 17 Pokemon and caught 7 of them. I hope you'll keep collecting Pokemon and filling out your Pokedex. If you catch a certain number of Pokemon, I'm sure I can find some way to reward you as well. Yeah, this should certainly help you with that. Alrighty, never say no to some more Pokeballs. The worst thing is when you see a new Pokemon and go to catch it but realize you're out of Pokeballs. This could help with that. There are so many more Pokemon species intended for you to discover. Best of luck on your adventure, Doc. Okay, thanks, Professor. 
Yeah, he's right. I hate when I run out of Pokeballs so I can't catch a new Pokemon I discovered. But this hasn't happened, I mean, like 10 years or something. Oh. Okay, can't go there. Um, what's even worse is when you're playing a Gen 1 or Gen 2 game and the box is full, so you can't catch a Pokemon even though you have Pokeballs. <laughs> Good thing they got rid of this in Gen 3. Hello honey, take a break from all the tiring adventuring. Yep. The Pokemon were healed. It's quiet without you around, you know. I was thinking of getting a pet Pokemon to keep me company. Would be cool if they, like, did what they did in Pokemon X and Y, where you can, where there's a grandpa asking you to give him a, a weak Pokemon so it keeps him company. But also do this with the one here. I thought that was really interesting when he asked us to give him a Pokemon. I don't think the payoff was much, but I still think, oh, it was something that's never been done before. Okay, Route 3. Yeah, before we continue on here. Just switch with Bob. Look, look it's a palm tree or something there. Oh, cool! Another bug type, s'more. Is it a? F is it like a fire ant or something? It sounds kind of like fire. String shot. Okay, let's just try to go for Pokeball here. Uh, yep. We have 30 of them now. I don't know how many the professor just gave us, maybe like 10, because I'm usually buying them in bulks of 10 so I get the premium one. Ready? Sounds still a little bit loud. Oh, it's, it's just a bug uh, type. Hero bug type. It's more the cute and Pokemon. If a small approaches your picnic, it's not trying to steal your food, it's just wants, it just wants attention. Some people are afraid of them. Oh no! It's a good boy, okay? Um, what do we name this one? Uh, it's an ant and it's cute. Mm. Dang, what do you name an ant? <laughs> Makes me think back to what we named the fur alligator in the Pokemon Colosseum series. Your name will be Jaws. <laughs> oh, but they don't have a uh, don't have a PC in Moki Town, so I guess we'll just continue without Jaws for now. Hey, are your parents really overbearing? Let me tell you about my dad. No, not really. My dad ran away and my mom died in a nuclear explosion. <laughs> Four talk. Let's use a Lich Seed here. A little boop. I hope we will learn some status moves soon, like Spore or uh, something for Paralysis or something like that, or Toxic. Make this a real pain of a Pokemon. How much does a Metal Claw do to this? Okay, enough. This was fishing for the attack buff there. Oh, and there's more. Who's a good boy? Oh yeah, nose ember. All right. I I thought somebody was talking about this, and I was like, "It's more. Is this a fire? Is this a fire starter? No, it's a 
it's this and it actually sounds like the name of a fire type Pokemon and it looks red so I was right. Oh, small is too strong. Alright, uh, can you do Tedwood? Are you faster? Let's go for a return here. Nope. Dang, this is the smallest strong my team. <laughs> Alright, level up for Edward here. Uh, Tedward. Why am I calling you Edward? And he keeps calling my name all the time. Oh, you won! <laughs> She's just like talking and talking. I have to admit, it's kinda nice having parents who care so much though. Thanks for listening. Yeah, I'm sure it's nice. My grandma I'm back. I decided to stay home. Yep. I still have my Pokemon. I haven't seen that nice boy Fear around lately. I wonder where he went. Crying after I beat his ass at Pokemon. Can I use this? Okay, it also only has item storage, but there's a potion here, so I'll take that. I was thinking like, oh, maybe they made it so you can even withdraw Pokemon here. Nope. Jaws has to lie in the box just a little bit longer. Smash the rock again. Oop. I feel like this game is just making me go full bug type. But tomorrow seems to be good since it knows fire type attacks. But at the same time it seems to be super devastating. <laughs> uh, uh, goodbye. What's this? It really doesn't seem like it belongs here. Route zero 03 on your way to Burrow Town. What's up with this tree though? Oh, it's Giga Train! Hell yeah! Let's see what we can teach this too. Was just talking about this, wasn't I? Little Giga Train? Oh, both you can learn this. Nice. Okay, Bob. Which moves should be forgotten? Return Metal Claw Lichy's Vine Whip. Just swap out the Grass type move for a Grass type move. I think that's okay. Move. And Giga Train for you. And I love TMs. When they can be used more than once. Okay, hmm. But for you. It may be time to get rid of Charm now that we're an evolved Pokemon. Good moveset variety on Ted would they? Okay, add the Giga Drain in. Nice. And there's another item there. Give me the item. Burn here. Alright, probably because of the s'mores. Oh, Manky. Alright, Bob, let's go. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I wonder whether they have something like regional farms, like, you know. There's Alolan Rotada and things like that. Like some different version of Primate or something. Oh dang! I want that Mankey. I 
think it's funny that this is called Mankey in English and in German it's called Mankey, but it's spelled differently. I don't know why they just spelled it differently. Maybe because otherwise Germans would call it Anke or something like this. Mankey, the pig monkey Pokemon. When it starts shaking and its nasal breathing turns rough, it's a sure sign of anger. However, since it happens instantly, there's no time to flee. Uh, let's not nickname that one. Oop. Hello, what's up here? Oh, there's an item or something. Oh, it's a netball. Nice. Really useful ball. My bro and I would rather stay in here. You can have plenty of adventure inside. Mum just doesn't understand why I hate sand. It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. I feel like this is a reference to something. Is this a Wii U? I can't believe it. We live on the beach and my children want to. Uh, all my children want to do is stay inside. Whether they're playing video games or reading books, they never want to go out and play. Man, just respect your children. Not everyone is an outside kind of person. Says the guy playing video games on YouTube. Another rare candy. Cool. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, I can't sit on the bench. Okay. The sea is so vast, isn't it? I wish I had someone to look out at the ocean with. Boy, they have a Pokemon. I'm never alone when I'm with them. True. And the Pokemon never complain about anything. Hey, look, a sand castle. That's cool. Well, they made this beach really look like a beach. It's not just an empty place with a lot of sand like in the other Pokemon games. Don't walk away from me. Child! Child! My mama just gave me a Pokemon to play with. You mean just gave me a Pokemon? Okay, that seems like a dangerous Pokemon to play with. I have to call the police now. Um, just go, so go for a Giga Train. See how much it does. Seems alright, one more should do it. Okay, good job, Bob. And level 16 already. Oh, I thought they were strong. <laughs> you fought wrong. Hey, lady. My children are adorable, but they're a handful. Yeah, so I give them poisonous Pokemon. I like all the sand castles and the seashells. They should have made like one of the seashells uh, kind of purple or something. Hey, let's play Pokemon. Looks and you. I am already doing a let's play of Pokemon. They should have made one of the seashells purple. So I was saying like as reference to Shell or something. That would have been funny. Okay, the ground monster. Dang, it's a fast snake. And goodbye. Yeah, Giga Drain is a real potion saver. <laughs> okay, you deserve to win. Thanks, boy. Let me just check out the special attack stat and the normal attack stat of some of my Pokemon. Um, Bob has an attack of 23 and special attack of 30, so special attack is actually better. You've got an attack of 19, special attack of 16, both are kinda terrible. I hope that would evolve again. Can we have a look at the Pokedex maybe? Um, yeah. 
and there's still one space in between, so maybe it evolves again. Man, this is so cute and it's like... Ugh. Please evolve again. Please. <laughs> Hey, what's up, girl? Whenever I tell people what my favorite Pokemon, they look at me weird. What's up with that? What are your favorite Pokemon? Is it Dunce Bars? Hey, you learn? The learn? I'm just going to call this for learn. The lungs intimidate. Get rain, son. I don't care about Intimidate when I'm using Special Attack. HA! <laughs> Better Cat wins. And there's a Burby. Should we switch? Nope. Dead Burp. Gets a Metal Claw. Yeah, I wonder how they balance out the Pokémon here, because I noticed there's not a lot of uh, Pokemon so far that are on every route, it's not like, oh, it's a Pidgey level 2 on this route, and then a Pidgey level 4 on the next one, and then a Pidgey level 12 on the next one, or something like that. So maybe the low level Pokemon we have right now are actually worth leveling up, except for just ditching them for a stronger version. I mean, instead of just ditching them for a stronger version. Oh, and it's a Cobblefly. Uh, gotta just stay in. For Metal Claw. Oop. Oh, is it actually a fairy type now? I think I totally haven't checked that one. I mean, now it also really looks like a fairy type. Oops, I switched in my Cobble Fly. God dang. It's using Fairy Wind. Let's just do the same and look how it works out. Not that nicely. Let's see how much you return this instead. Oh, almost enough. Gone. Gone. Yeah, I guess it's a Fairy Bug type now. Really weird fairy bug type. Shouldn't let other people tell you what you should like. Enjoy the things that make you happy. That's how I like to live. Man, that is some sound life advice. Seriously, it's wrong with a girl liking bugs. They're so cool. Yeah, you tell me. I love bug type Pokemon. Um, yeah, it's bug fairy. Grass steel, bug fairy, normal flying, normal, ground, and poison. Pretty cool, interesting. Getting some nice step from Fairy Wind. And another item. A water stone, alright. Didn't expect that. But makes sense. Wonder what kind of Pokemon evolves with a stone here. Oh no. I won't let you catch my bug friends. Jokes on you, I already have my own bug friends. His name is Zack, alright. Oh no, here we go. S'more. And this Pokemon is totally going to wreck me, isn't it? Let's get free Pokemon. Uh, just sacrifice Chin Monkey. Hello. Oh, no Sleech Life. Critical Hit. The Critical Hit didn't even do... Didn't even do all of its... Uh, HP. <laughs> Goodbye. Um... Let's see what Burby can do. At level 2. Whoops. Oh no, Burby! Herb is now Nuggets.
Man, that small is a real hard counter to my team right now. Okay, Grozer. Uh, Rock Smash, Growl, Sand Attack. Sand Attack! Oh yeah, Grozer is really fast actually. Still hit us with the Ember, god dang it. Autonomy. It's poison gas. <laughs> we go all out here. It's Mario's Ember. Oh, we survived. Okay, it's also female, otherwise, you could have used a track here. Tackle. <laughs> yes, the attack missed. Autonomy, go! <laughs> you can do this. I'm spamming the enter key. Alright. At least some damage here. So who should go in next? Maybe Tattled? It's only very, uh, very effective once on Tattled. Return Giga Drain Fairy and Struggle Bug. Um, Turn of Fairy Wind. Let's go for Fairy Wind. Oh, oh. Damn. You sacrifice all your Pokemon strategy worked. <laughs> Spawny, what's this? Oh no, it's another cool bug type. God dang it. I have to catch all of them. Uh, see how much you return this. Oh, and it's uh, a water type apparently. And let's go into Bob and try Giga Drain. Whoops, already. Uh, uh, accidentally scratched my microphone there. Oh, Poison Sting, nice try. Oh god dang it. When will I ever learn? Probably never. Hmm? Giga Drain? Oh, it's not very effective. Oh yeah, maybe it's just a bug, like, it's more. Whatever, let's do it again, get some HP. And what will his third one be? Will there also be a grass bug type kind of deal? Oh no, it's just a cobble fly. Just stay in and use a metal claw here. Yeah, now that I have a cobble fly, freaking everyone has a cobble fly. Good level 17. And we'll Bob Evolve. Goodbye, sack. Okay, go ahead with the mask. <laughs> I feel like this is a joke character. I've seen all the bugs in Tendo. Give me a call if you find any new ones. And you should give me a call. Sack. A DM49 Snatch. I hate this DM. It's a move that lets you steal like beneficial effects of enemy attacks, for example, like of recover or something, but I don't know whether I ever use this the way it's intended to. I should be working on a cruise ship. Are you sure? Mark? Oh yeah, there's another spawning. Hmm, let's just go for Metal Claw. It would be nice if it displayed the number of Pokemon the enemy has at any time. And not just when you're like choosing your attack in the menu there. You can see the enemy has, or the opponent, I'm always saying the enemy, it has two Pokemon. You can see on the right there over the uh, button for fleeing. 
But as soon as they do this, you can't see it anymore. Would be nice if they made it so the hut is actually over the... Like maybe above the enemy Pokemon or under the Pokemon's health bar or something. It's not really a complaint. It's just a low tap. Yeah, it's a low tap, cool. But it kind of seems like it's floating. It's a float head. Um, let's just go for the metal claw here. Let's see how much it does. Alright, enough I guess. Also attack buff is nice. But probably unnecessary at this point. And boop. Goodbye. So maybe they gave us the water stone either because of Either because of Bloated or maybe this, this Bonnie or Fortok are evolving with. Uh, evolving by using water so. I don't know why my brain is so slow today, it's got for a return here. Alright, oh, seems like an alright amount of damage. My water Pokemon. They're dead. What am I doing here? What am I doing here, man? Where's the next Pokemon Center? Oh, another item. One repel. Okay, what's up, man? Why did you get in my way? I was training. Okay, Black Belt Chan. Yeah, it's a Mankey. I think I'll switch into Cobblefly for this one. Because it's a fairy type now. Okay, focus energy. So now the enemy is going to get critically hit every time like we found out last time. Oh god dang it. Why you have to be like this? Just get some HP back. What? Oh okay. Looked like it did way less there. Oh Fury survives again, that's nice. No! Ted Wood! God Damn it! <laughs> okay, Bob, you're up. Let's use a little Giga Drain here. Okay, that worked way better than the father would. And another Monkey level 12. And another Giga Drain. Damn, almost was enough to one hit it there. Low kick, not really doing that much, maybe because uh, Bob is not a very heavy Pokemon. Alrighty. Once to learn Hone Claws, I think this raises attack and accuracy. This class to boost its attack set and accuracy. Yeah, um, do we really want to learn this? Nah. Now that we know Giga Drain, attack isn't that important anyway. Damn, you won! I should train more. That's the spirit. Is this the town? Oh. Tactical espionage action right there. Yeah, two raspberries. Okay, pick that two raspberries. Two orange berries. I don't think we have a watering can yet, do we? Two cherry berries. Okay, just want to check what's over there. 
Hello. What a lovely place for battling. That's a weird thing to say. It's like what a lovely place for killing a person. Okay, you have to be kind of careful here because only have Bob remaining, I think. Oh yeah, and what I said earlier, I noticed I said it wrong, like the remaining enemy Pokemon or opponent's Pokemon are on the left side, like here over the fighting thing, and our remaining Pokemon are here apparently. Or are they? Yeah, I think so. Looks a bit weird because these Pokeballs are just like all empty and then there's like one filled Pokeball, but here are three filled Pokeballs and then like three see-through Pokeballs. Maybe I'm losing my mind or something. Let's go for another Metal Claw there. Oh, I noticed Bob hasn't evolved yet. That's strange. It's already a level 18, so... Maybe they kind of strayed away from the usual or evolution of starters at level around 16 and then again around level 36. Maybe they mix it up now. They evolve later or something. Still can't wait to see what Bob evolves into. I'm sure it will be something cool. I don't know how you can mess such a good design up. I think the devs have some really good Pokemon designs. I still haven't seen an Alton in uh, in the tall grass or something, I think. Maybe just coincidence? Well, my Pokemon are still lovely. After you give them CPR. Oh, look, it's another one. One Stardust. Man, this gives me Pokemon Go PTSD. Hello. I know I'm a camera, but it's so good when we get to a town after so many battles. Yeah, that's true. Especially when you caught a new Pokemon there. The role is lovely. I don't I don't know you, but I'm sure you will agree with me. Yeah, probably. I mean... Does everyone have a, have a town greeter? You know, you're the first person to come through here all week. Man, there's two people just right there. <laughs> Okay, these houses don't have doors. Okay, what do you have to say? They're probably from Monkey Town. That place is so bad, that's why you're so fascinated with Burrow, then. You can just see it in your eyes. Don't diss my hometown like that. Okay, let's see what do you have here. Hog walls we're good on. And get some great balls here. Um, red balls. Otherwise, repel and stuff like that don't really need. It's rather sad, there's so much stuff here, yet I can only buy 8 or so different items to register. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, man. I heard the song about great balls and how excellent they are when I hear it. No? Actually, I want to hear that Great Balls are one of my favorite Pokeballs. I like the design. I think I mentioned this in another series already. Man, where's the Pokemon Center here? Oh, alright. Okay, I'm going to heal up our Pokemon here and say thank you very much for watching, guys. This one is already going on for almost 45 minutes already, I'm seeing here. There's like 30 more seconds or so. So in the next one we'll get Jaws out of the PC and then get to know the city a bit. See you then.